Myth and folklore is rich and rife with tales of horrifying creatures, both great and small. But while most can be cast off as little more than fiction, given they've never been seen, there are a few exceptions that might be more genuine than you think. Because there are records of them being seen, albeit not too often. Come with me, if you will, to a place where the lines between legend and now crumble away. These are the 20 mythical creatures that were only seen once. Number 20. Dragon Without a doubt, dragons are bar none one of the creatures that we all wish were real in one form or another. I mean, the biggest show on HBO is House of the Dragon, which saved us from the terror of how Game of Thrones ended. And why wouldn't we want dragons in the world? The idea of having an epic, flame-throwing lizard that we could ride and have fights with? Well, that's pretty awesome. Now, sure, the mass destruction they would cause and the way they would terrorize people is a little bit of a downside, but why do you have to be so negative? Regardless, there are many people who have claimed that dragons are actually real, and this clip from SpaceX, of all places, is just one example. This happened when they were launching one of their rockets into space, and as with other spacecraft, they had a camera pointed down, not only to watch the view, but ensure that nothing truly bad happened during the takeoff. When you get to a certain point in the sky, a certain object flaps into view, and it got a whole lot of people wondering what the heck they were actually looking at. From a certain point of view, it does kind of look like a dragon, and when you see the way the thing flies into the shot, you can understand why people are making that comparison. But is it really a dragon? Well, no. That footage is a very clear indicator as to why. While the flying into the shot is very dragon-like, the way the entity gets out of the shot looks more like something that's straight out of a comedy. It races out of there faster than any flying animal could. Not to mention, it also looks fake while it does it. Plus, if there was a dragon being found here, don't you think somebody would have mentioned that or raised a bigger stink? Yeah, we'd all like to have a dragon, and that's cool, but don't confuse what we want for what's actually out there. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. It was the last day of vacation for Tim and Lily Payne. They knew they were going to miss the beach, so on the day they were due to catch their plane, they went to the beach first thing in the morning to enjoy it one last time. Sure, the sun wasn't shining, but it would be a chance to see the sands and the ocean one more time before returning home to New York. In visiting in the early hours when no one else was around, they witnessed something that shocked the whole world, and thankfully for us, they snapped this chilling photographic evidence. For less than five seconds, this disturbing creature burst out of the water for the pair to see, before swiftly disappearing back underneath the surface. But what was it? Well, it's unclear, and nobody has seen anything like it since. But a lot of people have begun going to that place every morning in hopes of seeing it for themselves. As always, you can let me know your thoughts about what you just saw by using the hashtag sweet topic in the comments down below. Number 19. Mermaid. You may think that because we're doing a list about mythical creature sightings, that it's just a couple of people who are trying to cash in on something and start up a craze for one reason or another, but in some of these stories, like the one I'm about to tell you, it's a bunch of people who are coming together to say that something is true. Back in 2022, within the Israeli town of Kirat Yam, there was a fervor going on because some locals claimed that they saw a mermaid on their shore. The person who started the claim was Shlomo Cohen, who was with a bunch of his friends when he came across a person on the beach. They didn't think anything of the young girl until they got close enough to spook her, and when they did, she dove into the water, showing her tail as she went away. Ever since that point, other people noted that they seemed to see this same girl in the waters, and at times that she would actually perform tricks for them. Now that fervor got so hyped up that there was a million dollar reward for anyone who could provide definitive proof that this mermaid existed. That's a weird looking And to my knowledge, it's never been claimed. 
And before you go claiming hoax, it should be noted that mermaid sightings haven't only happened in Israel. There have been places all over the world that have claimed to see these half-man, half-fish, half-thing, human-thing creatures. And in fact, they're one of the older mythological creatures that you'll find, especially amongst seafaring folk who swear that they exist. But do they? Well, no, they don't. Because if they did, especially with how deep we've been in the ocean, we would have likely caught one by now. But does that stop the stories from spreading around? Well, you know the answer to that. Number 18. Messy Here I'm talking about a creature called Messy, which allegedly resides in the sewers of a place called Merseyside in the UK. The sewers are a place where many people have cried wolf in the past, and let's not forget that one of the biggest myths in United States history is that there are alligators in the sewers. But here's a hint, there aren't, and this creature is just as real as those stories. Allegedly, some engineers were filming some things while they were trying to fix something in the sewers when they came across a glowing-eyed creature that was just out of sight within the darkness of the tunnel. And due to its height and how it was standing in the shot, many people felt that it was a monster. But was it? Well, no, it's actually very easy to prove. Take a look at this footage of the so-called monster and pay close attention to the opening shot of the piece. Do you see it? Because if you don't, you're not looking in the right place. What I'm trying to guide your eyes to is not the monster in the background, it's actually the walls, and you'll notice that they're not moving. But why would they be moving, you may ask? The answer is that a person is filming this, and whether that camera was in their hands or on their body, you would see some kind of natural shaking or movement as they film. But the camera just only moves in certain spots, and when the monster shows up in the key moments, it's always when the camera's perfectly still. As such, the creature was likely just edited in later, and then used to scare people away from the sewers. And it's a simple but effective trick. Number 17. Bigfoot In the words of Doctor Who, oh yes. Because is there a more classic and mythical creature of our current age than Bigfoot? Because if there is, I don't really want to hear about it. Bigfoot is someone or more accurately, something that has been wondered about for many, many years, and there have been tons of shows dedicated to whether the Bigfoot actually exists, including a series called Finding Bigfoot, which, shockingly, hasn't found it yet. Shouldn't that be a sign? I mean, just saying. The clip that I'm about to show you is very recent, like October of 2023 recent, and it came from a couple in Colorado who were just enjoying a vacation when they came upon an open area and saw something in the distance. When they got a better look at it, they felt that they had seen a Bigfoot. And to help fuel the story, a person on the train that they were on during this sightseeing adventure also claimed that there was a Bigfoot in the area. So is it really the Bigfoot? Well, nobody could possibly say one way or another, and this clip and the pictures alone don't really give it a lot of credence. First of all, despite it being shot with a modern camera, the quality's not all that great, which is a common theme in many of these Bigfoot tales. Another issue is that because of the background, this thing, whatever it may be, very easily blends in as though it's nothing at all. That's why some people have been saying that it's not the Bigfoot, and instead just some kind of hunter. It was bow season during that period of time, so it's not impossible to think. Or because of the rumors of Bigfoot in the area, and the fact that this spot was near a train route that is well known, someone may have well donned a big and furry suit and then went out to pull a prank. Anything's really possible with this kind of story. Number 16. Chupacabra Ah, another classic creature that deserves to be talked about. The chupacabra, also known as the goat eater, is a legendary creature in the southern United States, Mexico, and certain parts of Central America. Its legend became infamous because of mysterious sightings that would lead people to wonder if their animals had been drained of their blood because of certain bite marks that were found on cows. Ever since then, the farmers in the area have been quick to cry out chupacabra if something goes wrong, so it may surprise you that I'm going to cross the ocean to talk about a potential sighting that happened in Portugal, of all places. According to reports and a certain piece of video footage, a man-like creature that resembled certain depictions of the chupacabra would be seen wandering around the Portuguese desert. As you could imagine, that would cause quite the stir, but when you look at the footage, it is anything but conclusive. 
Plus, the chupacabra has never been seen in that part of the world, so regardless of what it is or what it isn't, it's clearly a case of someone transposing a legend onto something else simply because of a resemblance. And just like with the Bigfoot video that I showed you, the quality of the video was really grainy, and so it's hard to talk about what it is or what it's not. More than likely, it's nothing more than another hoax. And besides, if it were real, don't you think somebody else would have seen it in that desert by now? Maybe it would have made the news? Number 15. Icelandic Snake Monster Have you ever spotted something in a place where there shouldn't be anything and immediately went to film it? In Iceland, back in 2012, there was a big deal going on about an Icelandic snake monster. According to the man that filmed the thing, he was watching an icy river when he thought that he saw something moving in it, and the footage that he caught showed a kind of snake or worm thing that was going through the water despite the freezing temperatures. Now, there are legends in Iceland of such creatures, but none of them have ever actually been caught on film. So obviously, people began wondering if it was real or a hoax. The cameraman swore that he did nothing to the footage, but he wouldn't be the first one to lie about something. Plus, that's where the twist comes in, because he didn't fake it, and that's also not a monster. A scientist took a deep look at the footage and realized that due to the quality, the so-called snake looked like it was moving when it really wasn't. This thing is just an optical illusion of the water and the ice, and there may be something there, like a cloth or a break, but it's not moving, and it's definitely not alive. That's why you just can't trust everything that you see, even with your own eyes. Number 14. Hobbits When it comes to the many forms of humanity, especially if you believe in evolution, there are versions that are supposed to be really tall, like giants. And then there are the ones that are really small, like dwarfs. And we know that both giants and dwarfs exist in their own way, via things like issues with pituitary glands and gigantism and such. So, some people can be over two meters tall, and some are not even a meter. But there are some people who believe in creatures known as hobbits, who are naturally small. There are other names for them across the world, such as the Siwi in Indonesia. That brings us to these cameramen who claim to have caught some of these things on camera while they were going through the woods of the country. The footage, as you likely have guessed, isn't the best, and sometimes it's really hard to see what they're pointing at, even with the focused shots at key areas. They're confused about what they saw, and honestly I am too, but mainly because it's hard to know what they did or didn't see. More than likely, it was just some people seeing the cameraman and running away. Another answer could be that they were native people who were from ancient tribes and didn't like being found, and some of those tribes do exist in our world today. Number 13. Moby Dick Yes, I know that there are creatures like Moby Dick in the world. After all, the story was based on a kind of living whale, albeit one who's an absolute jerk. But what I'm talking about right now is the actual Moby Dick, via an animatronic robot that was made for the Pleasure Island Park in Massachusetts. The robot would greet people by popping out of the water and scaring them, making them wonder if they were going to go the route of Captain Ahab. But when the park closed, nobody really knew what happened to the whale. Fast forward to January of 2023, and someone decided to take a dive and found out the truth for themselves. Surely enough, that whale is still in the pond that it was in to begin with, showing that no one takes the whale out of the depths. It's a bit sad that it's just a wreck within the water, but sometimes down is the only way to go. The location of Captain Ahab has not been confirmed at this time. Number 12. Ogopogo. Now, I've shown you plenty of interesting mythical creatures so far, but you've not seen anything in the form of a true water monster that is until now. This is the Ogopogo. The beast was allegedly found in a lake in British Columbia in Canada. A couple were out on that lake when they saw something in the water that they couldn't recognize, and they decided to try and see it again with their phone camera on. When they did, they spotted something odd as they went to the place and took a snapshot. In this very real photo that they took, they noticed two things were popping out of the water, almost like horns. 
Naturally, they showed the picture and footage around to try and get an idea of what it was, and many people wondered if it was the Ogopogo. This creature had been said to live in the lake for quite some time and was allegedly one from the First Nations folklore. While I won't say that it is this creature, it does raise a lot of questions about what would reside beneath the waters and pop up like that. Some say it was a bird, and I don't listen to those people. Number 11. Pterosaur in Idaho There are actually people out there who believe that dinosaurs still exist in our world, for whatever dumb reason, and I'm going to show you one such case of belief today. In Idaho, footage caught what many believe to be a pterosaur flying through the sky, and many were left wondering if it was actually real. Sadly, I'm going to burst the bubble on that one quite easily because of how the footage that we saw turned out. First off, when you look at how the pterosaur flies, you'll notice that something feels just a little bit rigid about it. Not to mention that it's barely flapping its wings at all at times, and it would be doing it much more if it were to stay aloft. Then, when you look at one key part of the video, well, the entity basically goes completely vertical but doesn't change direction or fall out of the sky. And so, more than likely, someone got this footage and then edited in a 3D model of a pterosaur and then animated it. It's amazing what you can do with technology these days, but don't quit your day job. Number 10. Mothman as we head into our top 10, we take a look at a popular creature that has been getting a lot of attention over the years in certain cryptid fan bases, that being the Mothman. As you may have guessed, this is a creature that is as tall as a man and even has its legs, but it has the body of a moth in various areas, including its upper body and its wings. Here's a piece of footage from Argentina where two police officers allegedly came across the Mothman on the road and it scared the crap out of them. Now granted, if I saw something like this on the road at night, I would have likely been scared as well. The Mothman also exists in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, where it's said to have been the cause of a very dramatic and traumatic bridge collapse, and they even made a movie out of it that starred Richard Gere. You can actually visit the Mothman Museum in Point Pleasant, where there's a statue of the Mothman outside, and it is a common custom to touch the shiny hiney because it's made out of some kind of steel. I've actually done it, and it's a pleasant experience. But is the mythical Mothman real? Well, I'm pretty sure that it's not. The footage in this video is not exactly the best, and the accounts about what happened that night are really sketchy. So we should just move on. Number 9. The Hellhound Yeah, we're going to go a little bit dark now. For as long as stories of the underworld have been told, there have been equal tales of canines that live within those realms that do the bidding of certain masters. Now, we all know about the three-headed dog that guards the realms of Hades, and in some cultures, there are the Hellhounds. These serve, or are the devil in one form or another, or if you're a fan of Supernatural, they are the beings that go after doomed souls in order to drag them into the underworld whether they like it or not. On a program called Mountain Monsters, they claim to have caught footage of such a beast going through the woods, and then, near a monastery in Suffolk, they claim to have found bones of a canine beast that was over two meters in length. So, are there evil canines amongst us? Well, probably, but I doubt that they're any of the devilish variety. Number 8. Unicorn While many of these monsters I'm sure you're happy are not real, there are a few mythical beings that I'm sure you would like if they were real. For example, who wouldn't want a unicorn? Depending on the mythology, these horned horses are full of magical power and ability, so having one would really brighten your day. In this clip, a person claimed to have found a unicorn, and it spread on the internet like wildfire when they got it. But is it real? Well, not likely. First off, why did the footage stop after only a few seconds? And secondly, if it were real, why didn't they try to get in closer and get some better footage? Finally, they could have easily edited in that horn, and this is just a white horse. It's food for thought. Number 7. Bear Lake Monster According to some local legends, the monster of Bear Lake is said to have been some kind of serpentine or otherwise really big fish. I mean, 
That just takes the mystique out of it, now don't you think? Anyways, the lake is in the Rockies and the local people seem to like the idea of having a monster nearby, so they simply ran with the story and tried to figure out more about it. The problem is that while there's footage of this creature, it's not exactly all that compelling. I mean, look at this clip. This grainy bunch of video only shows something coming out of the water a good distance away. Is it big? Well, sure it is, but so am I. And a decent sized fish could cause that kind of imagery in the end. Number 6. Skunk Ape All kinds of creatures call Florida home, including a potential cousin to Bigfoot known as the Skunk Ape. There have been many cases of the Skunk Ape being found in Florida, well, according to local stories anyway, and all of them paint the picture of a black and white furry creature who is a really bad smell and scares the junk out of anyone that sees it. Yes, there is amateur footage of a skunk ape appearing in a field and then running away, but given that it's all that far away, it's really kind of hard to tell what it actually is. You may notice that this is a recurring trend throughout this video, and it doesn't get any better from here. Number 5. Fairy Given some of the fairies that I've seen in shows and movies, it would be nice to live in a world where some of them existed, as long as they were nice, of course. In this video from a ring camera, a really odd creature, which a lot of people think is a fairy, can be seen in the lens. Now, unlike a certain sewer monster we documented earlier, I can tell you that this is happening in real time because there are other bugs and objects going in front of the camera. But is it a fairy? Do we really need to have faith, trust, and pixie dust for what comes next? Well, no, not really. While it is a brightly colored creature, if you slow the footage down, you can clearly see antennae coming off of the creature, and fairies don't have those in the traditional manner. As for its light-up act, that could easily be because of the camera or the lights that are clearly coming off of the house. Number 4. Mermaids Again Sadly, we just can't get away from some of the more popular mythical creatures that have been talked about for a millennia, and mermaids are one of those. Now look, there are people who believe that they're real and that they've caught footage of them, and this video clip is one such guy making one such claim. According to some doctor, he was diving around a thousand meters below sea level for an unrelated sea voyage when his camera caught footage of a mermaid latching onto the window of his submarine. Now, while it may look compelling, this could very easily be CGI, and the fact that this footage is shown on Animal Planet in a special called Mermaids The New Evidence, well, that kind of speaks volumes now, doesn't it? Number 3. Dragon Again for this story, I have a clip of what's very clearly a dragon that somehow washed up on the beach. <laughs> you can see not only its magnificent claws and body, but it also has wings and a dragon head. So clearly it's case closed, right? Dragons are absolutely real, and we should all try to find some dragon eggs so that we can ride them all one day. No. As it turns out, it was a fake dragon that was made for something and got washed up on the beach somehow. Plus, if you look at the size of the thing, it's nowhere near the size of dragons uh, from our mythologies and tales. Again, now we'd all love for dragons to be real, consequences be damned, but they're absolutely not. Number 2. Goblins Here's a clip that's so weird that even the Huffington Post wrote about it. Guess it must have been a really slow news day. Anyways, in the story that was told to them, a child was getting visited by a tiny goblin, and eventually a family member is said to have caught footage of that goblin running out of the room. Naturally, they put it up online and everyone's been debating about whether or not it's a goblin. You know, because we see these things all the time. Based on what we're seeing, it's not. I mean, first off, that's a really small goblin, and secondly, why would it be in a house visiting a child? And third, when you look at it running, it seems to be going slower than it really should be. Since that person didn't post more goblin videos via its so-called many visits, I'm going to label this one a hoax. Number 1. Pixies Pixies and fairies are technically the same thing, but I'm going to roll with it because I have to. It's what I get paid to do. A few years back, a scientist claimed to have found a skeleton for an incredibly small humanoid figure. According to him, it was the skeletal remains of a pixie. Yes, a scientist, someone who's supposed to be taken seriously. 
He took a picture of the bones and posted them online, and that's when the debates raged on. But was it real? The guy who found it seemed to think so, and made all kinds of claims of where the bones were now, including that they were safe in Germany where they were being examined. But in actuality, it was fake. I mean, duh. Even websites like Snopes looked into it and found that the bones were fake and that it was actually a false claim. What does it all prove? Some people will go to great distances just to try and get some attention. That's all from the realm of mythical creatures and some people that think that they're real. Are you surprised that so many people think that these creatures actually exist? And which ones do you think could at least be a little convincing? Perhaps you know of another piece of footage that highlights such a potential mythical thing. You should be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.